Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. We just went and wrapped up our drag racing with our awesome Chevy Nova here. Anyways, we figured out it's a very, very good way to grind money and make a hell of a lot of progress in terms of XP and leveling up. But during that video, we also unlocked the Drift Club story missions. Now, I have no idea what these are, but... I do want to go and check it out. Yo, what up, DJ? DJ's coming around the corner quick in the Unimog. Hey, man. I don't know what this is, but we'll see. My name is Robert. Don't need to tell me your name. Joel's done plenty of that. Uh, I've gathered a group of like-minded drivers together here at the festival, and I hoped you might help us attract more. We're called Drift Club, you see. We like to... Well, <laughs> you can probably guess. Some like the rush, but I'm rather partial to the engineering, I must say. Why don't you take my old Nissan 240 out and see which you enjoy better? I have absolutely no problem with the best that. Thing to do, really, is go into your car settings and switch off the traction control. It might be a button, or it might need a pair of pliers and a bit of tape, but it must be done. Traction, no way! Natural enemy of drifting. This is so cool. So it's like it turns the entire world into a drift zone. So I've got two and a half minutes. I suspect that machine is capable of more. And so are you. It turns the entire world into a drift zone. And you just try to get as many drift points as possible. Within the time limit and before the destination. That is so cool! So like now we're just driving around and this guy's 240. It's a wide body. This is the Rocket Bunny 240. There's, a, there's probably a leaderboard for this as well and that'd be really cool. Anyways. There we go, 95, 100,000 drift points. Added, Chapter one, complete. Really Thank you very much. A great bit of practice for drift driving. Two stars! What? Shit, I'm... Okay, well, I wish I knew about that earlier, because if I knew about that, I would have pushed a little harder. Anyways, 5,000 influence from that for doing the Horizon story. Thank you very much. We're nearly level two in the drift club. Nice! So how does this work? Does he give me another drift race now? Or do I need to go and do that one again? Because I didn't actually pass the thing. Oh, I can actually do next chapter. What is this? They're gonna give me another car. I thought I would have to do the same thing again. But anyways, this, at least this time we know. Do not stop drifting. Keep pulling in the points. We've had a oh. drift club meeting and decided to keep score of how our members do on all these routes. Make it a bit of a game, you see? This is the Subaru BRZ for boxer engine, rear wheel drive, and the zenith of drifting technology. I'm also quite partial to acronyms. I'm just saying, if that's actually what it stood for, you well played, nice that'd be really cool. Drive. And if you want to throw the back end out along the way, that'd be all right with me. Thank you, Robert. All right, so I need to get 75,000 drift points to just pass this one. Now, it's news to me that I need to do a certain amount of points to do well. I wish it told you how many points you needed to achieve the three-star level, but it doesn't. Core's gonna drift all the way, so this is another Rocket Bunny car. We've got that huge, sh like, it's not a chassis mount, but it's a, I guess the trunk mounted. This thing is cool. This was always one of my favorite drift cars, actually. But let's see, we got two and a half minutes again. We've already beaten the score, so now I just need to pack on the points keep pulling them in and see what happens like that's what I was saying before I, I don't know how many points I need to get so I don't know at what point I can actually stop drifting I just need to just need to keep getting points this is very cool though I I had no idea that this was in the game either like a Toyota in disguise yeah this is probably the closest thing you'll get to a Toyota in Forza Horizon 4 I I will say push in keep sliding 270,000 points this must be a three-star run. This, like, they asked for 75,000. I'm at 300,000 points. If this is not three stars, I will be more surprised than anything. Anyways, this is going well. It's honestly a good thing that we're not doing this in the winter, though. Because if this was the winter, we yes. would be having a big problem. I mean, uh, very technically proficient. Well done. Okay, so Robert actually just said stuff. So I assume we triggered him to say that at 350k points. Maybe we weren't locked in on three stars. Wow, if that's so, then you really need to push on me. All right, there we go, 400K. We get 450K. Yes, we can as we crash and uh, cross the line. Done. Now, we'll keep your score on the Drift Club ladder for eager new drivers to try and beat. I'd prefer they didn't, but you know how they get. It's 
Computer games have made some competitive, I think. Should we keep doing these? How much money are we getting? 14,000 from that. Eh, it's not the it's not the best amount of money, but eh, okay, 7,500 influence though. That's that's pretty good influence. We level up. We get Drift Club level 2. Okay. So that gives us 10,000 credits. We actually get a wheel spin. Oh, we almost get a wheel spin there. We get a wheel spin for leveling up though. Let's see what we got. No, no more clothes. God damn it. We get too many goddamn clothes. I don't I genuinely have no idea how many chapters are in this or anything. Good oh. news. Drift Club membership is climbing steadily thanks to you. Well, as soon as you're I welcome, get the membership Robert. cards and name badges ready, you'll be the first to know. I'd like us to be known as an inclusive club. You don't need a Japanese performance machine to throw around. An American performance machine will do very nicely too. Okay. I mean, I would like to warn the people of Great Britain to watch out. So this is actually have a body kit on it. Yes, it does. It's got the Liberty Walk body kit on the thing, making it all wide and stuff. So we got 75,000 points if we want to get the victory here. Probably around 350k though if we want to win. Now it's raining, which means I'm not going to be able to carry as much speed, which is kind of annoying. Minus friction. Drifting is all mathematics, you see. Can you shut up, Robert? You talk way too much. It's very annoying. I want to turn. Can we turn him off? You talk so goddamn much. It is so annoying. Anyways, we've got 2.6 miles to try to get a hell of a lot of drift points. I wish it told you how many you needed for three stars, because. I'm just guessing, like, I'm not driving particularly well. I would want to push for a certain amount, but I don't know what the certain amount is. There we go, 150k. Good stuff. Keep it sideways. You, you, this is actually harder to drift around than you might think. It's, like, it's pretty heavy. I don't know if they have weight reduction on I mean, they got a roll cage and everything, so that's going to add weight, but... I don't know what upgrades these cars have that the game built for us. I genuinely have no idea where I am in the world either, though. It's like, my bearings are so lost, I have no idea where I am. There are very certain parts of this world that I know right now, and that I can, like, pick together, but this is, this is not one of them. Gear ratios on this Charger, or Challenger, are, are not good. Whoever made this car, fix the gear ratios. I'm not a fan. Look at the sun coming through there. That looks so cool. Oh my god, with the water there and everything. All right, we, we've had a problem. If we get 300k before the line, can we get 300k? There's 300k. I think that's going to be three stars again. I hope. Oh, Nick, it does tell you how many points you need if you go to select chapter. Okay. Anyways, that's done. We're banging these drift missions out, boys. Look at this. 13k for that. We're up to half a mil again. 7,500 influence. Great stuff. We're going to get a wheel spin for getting to drift club level three. We nearly level up again as well. Are we going to get anything cool? We get another chat message. We're going up to Drift Club level 4. Very nice. Can I tell you about Drift Club? Okay. And if we level up again, we get another wheel spin. Okay. All right. Let's do one more of these drift races. So, Tendi said if I click select chapter and I come down, it'll actually tell me... Okay, so I need 200,000 points to get three stars in this one. Okay. There's a nice spot on the way up to Edinburgh that Drift Club's Ooh, been eyeing up. S2000. I think you've earned the right to have first crack and show off a little. What you reckon? I've thrown on new high grip front tires, tuned the throttle response in the computer, and lowered it on firm springs. Well, if you get a show off, and so do I. This guy talks a lot. I hope it's not on fully grippy tires, like... I've put in a route down to the old rail yard. I think you'll see what I'm getting at. This guy, he talks so goddamn much. It's just like, he doesn't shut up! Anyways, I don't know if there's actually drift tire compound, but I'm just saying, that'd be pretty cool. This guy's talking about putting sticky front tires on the car. That's pretty awesome. I like it. So, I had to get 200k on this one. I've only got two miles to get that score, so I really gotta milk the points on this one. Let's keep it going in the little S2k, though. Come on. Keep it sideways. Oh my god, look at my wing shaking. Uh, that's gotta be new. I've never seen a wing shake like that. Even in Forza 7. It's like, it's having a complete freakout right now. This wing is not enjoying this drive. Also, this drift course sucks. It's just a straight line. I'm, I'm just having to go left, right. This is not real drifting game. Could have given me some proper corners. Right. Seriously, now I'm drifting off road? Why? Why would you make me do such a thing? Holy shit, the wing physics. That is so crazy. 
There we go. There's our 200k. Now we can just sprint it to the finish line, and we're good. Yeah, that wing is is freaking out. I didn't know that was in the game. That's crazy. All right, so we gotta just come over to here. Oh shit! All right. Well, um, does it show I don't know my way around the map yet? Okay. Now we've gotta navigate this to get to the finish line. Why? Why are you having me drive through here in an S2000? All right. There we go. Done. Getting some real good money. That's nine grand for that. I mean. Maybe the money's not great, but for these Horizon stories, you actually get a lot of money. Like, we level up again, Drift Club level 5. I don't know if there's, like, an exclusive car in this thing. Like, you just get 50k. No, there doesn't seem to be an exclusive car. I was really hoping for, like, like a Forza edition, like, S15 or, like a, like, a drift car, you know? But, I mean, maybe there is one down the line, but for right now... I don't know. So we should go do some other stuff, though. There is still plenty of stuff around my map. We have this person down here, the stunt driver. Maybe we put our Lambo to the test and we do a good old-fashioned race. Uh, do I have any new races? We do. We have two in Edinburgh. I know you guys wanted to see Edinburgh, so let's, let's come up there. That'll work out. No, there's not. Okay, you guys want me to find a barn? I'll go find this barn right here. Like, this is honestly one of my favorite parts of the entire game, is going in and looking for these barns. Doing this at night... I will say was a bad idea. This was dumb. This would be so much easier if we weren't playing Slenderman Forza Horizon 4 edition. I'm just saying. I even checked out here. Oh, it's in the super dense forest. Never would have found that. Never, ever, ever would have found that. So here's your barn, boys. Let's take a look. Be there soon. Oh, it's my car. Well, sort of my car. It's a Subaru 22B. Will you have a look at that? Oh, one for me, finally. It's an Impreza 22B, an old rally gem. Only a small handful were imported into the UK, so this is a really rare find. Come on, let's get it fixed up. All right, thank you, Tendi, for helping me out with that one. All right, let's head up to Edinburgh while, uh, while person works on the car. Hey, Nick, what do you think the two expansion packs will be? That's a good question. If you are not sure, take a guess based upon what you'd like to see. More map? I want to see them use the bridges at the top of, at the top of the map. The map's really good, though, from what I've seen already. Anyways, let's do this. Prince Street Garden Circuit. Let's go. What are the houses for in this game? So the houses in Forza Horizon 4 are like... They're sort of like mini festival points. You can fast travel to them. You can upgrade your car, paint your car, customize your character. Do all of the stuff that you would normally do at the festival, you can do them at your house as well. Uh, they do cost money, but they also come with some rewards. All right, let's go, boys. I know you wanted to see a little bit of Edinburgh today. So we're doing a supercar race through the streets of Edinburgh. Let's push. We got our insane Lambo. We just gotta keep flying the car around the circuit. It's all about keeping your speed up and carrying speed through the corners, or else the AI will just run away from you. That is one thing I have noticed, and I I have been losing a lot of races. It's it's pretty tough to win the races on the hardest difficulty, at least for me. But I mean, hey, I wanted to. I wanted to challenge myself, so it's pretty fun. This is a three-lap race, so we, we, we do have time to catch up. Oh, we might actually be able to see the Edinburgh Castle from here. It's very possible. I don't know. Oh, it's just up that street. It was right there. It was straight ahead. That's it on the right. See, now this is when I start to struggle with the races. Like, I caught up and passed a lot of the early guys very early on into this race, but these guys are just booking it away. We've got 1,200 horsepower. And I can't catch up. We've even got like extra sticky tires and weight reduction and everything. And I'm having trouble. All right, Tendi Gaming. We gotta fly it up the inside. Oh, that's too much flying up the inside. That is not the definition of carrying your speed, but it did work, we're in second. We weren't able to get to first, but second place will do it for us. It's not bad, the Lambo is really good. I really, really like this car, it's, it's hella quick. Oh my God, the AI weren't even on like the same level as us. They were all S2. We're X-Class. That's kind of embarrassing. I was complaining. I'm like, the AI is really not hard. Not hard at all. And then I get past the prologue, and the AI is like, they get turned up. And it's just super hard now. Anyways, 4,000 influence. We level up. We get a, we get a, was that a normal wheel spin or a super wheel spin? I didn't actually say super wheel spin unlocked. Perfect. Please give me something good. Hey, we can get a Porsche if we, if we level up our road racing again. Come on. We gotta get some good stuff, though. We are running low on money. We're getting horns and a hat and a 
And a, well, an older Nova. Look, I was so close to a Forza Edition Vulcan. Seriously. So here we go. Here's our street race. Let's do it. Now, if we win this, or if we... I think we just need to complete it, and we get the R34. All right, let's go. Street race. We're... I don't understand the street races, because sometimes you get put against some interesting cars. Like, that's a Pagani Zonda R, and that's a Ford Focus. I... I don't get it. I like how Jack's driving his actual car, though. That's pretty dope. Bye, Jack, though. We are in a 1,200 horsepower Lambo. We gone. Go, let's go, let's go. I don't even know why I'm saying let's go. We don't even need to do well. We just need to... All right, well, that didn't go well. Look at all the Paganis. What is going on? I mean, I get it's a VIP car, but I don't know why the AI is using it. Oh, and traffic. I'm in last. Hey, I'm not the only one who had a problem. There's a focus in a tree as well. Oh, I'm in a tree again. Oh my god, I love the AI. The AI in this game is awesome. I like how they actually crash, though. Boys, can we pray F to pray respects to my driving skill? Watch, maybe we're gonna hit some sort of, like, good driving gene right now. There's so much traffic. I just want my R34, okay? All of the AI's done this race. Get out of my way! The stupid Volkswagen got air from that hit. I'm now crash vision. I've taken over Raymond's role, apparently. Great, great. Well, there you go. At least it wasn't last. Let's just pretend that race never happened, okay? All we want is the is the R34. 16 grand. Great. Awesome. Influence rewards. Let's go. 3,600. I hope that's enough. It's gonna be enough. Yes! Street race scene round four. Nissan R34 GTR unlocked. Yes! You're through to the next round. I'll call you with time and place for the events. Uh, if Kira asks, say you're meeting me for coffee. Like, midnight coffee. Goddamn people in this game. Okay. You know how we're gonna end this, boys? I'm gonna try my luck again. Oh, I got a new car. Yep, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try my luck again. We got four more wheel spins. Don't ask me where they came from. But we're gonna spin. And maybe we're gonna get some money. I'm at half a million credits. Come on. Dab all the way to victory, bro. We just need the big bucks. Didn't want a bingo bongo horn. I wish my guy did emotes during this. Like, he was like, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This one's gonna be the best. Fuck, it was almost my old car. It was almost my free... Oh, I got a freestyle emote? What is freestyle? 